Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Playing with some Arteza 12 by 16 inch canvas boards and some Arteza acrylics. And I wish I'd cleaned that paint off my spatula, but since it's still nice and wet, I'm just gonna wipe it off on my studio rag that I keep handy. And then I'm gonna to continue to try and teach myself how best to use these canvas boards. And I really want to be able to see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna put my glasses on. I want I really want to put some white in there too. But I want a nice layer of paint on this canvas. I don't know if it's going to warp or not because I've got three other canvases setting inside waiting till tomorrow to see. But I don't want to see the grain of the canvas as much as I have been when I swipe through. So I'm going to assume that if I get enough paint on here, a nice even layer, and I can see the stuff I want to remove because my OXO omelette turning spatula is just awesome for spreading paint and is doing a pretty good job of not leaving me hanging. I've got stuff blowing. Excuse me. I don't want a piece of plastic in my painting as you might imagine. And that was headed right for me so I'm going to try not to do an overabundance of paint. It's, I think it's highly unusual to attempt to use a canvas board to uh, do acrylic pouring. But I really want to see what happens, and um, I'm still having fun, and I'm in a bit of a playful, playful mode. And Arteza, thank you that you gave me an excuse to do that. Do that. So that's not a bad coverage. Let's see what happens. I've got chains and basting brushes, and more Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. But that small spatula is going to go right in the bucket. And I'm going to see, yep, I've got a bigger one in the bucket, and I may actually want that if I've got a towel to dry it off with. It should be over here, pollen withstanding. Everything is covered in pollen in Florida right now. This is February, just after Valentine's Day. And this is a mica gold powder. And this is, what is it? It's a, an Arteza. Magenta Light, which I'd like to have like a gallon of, please. And seldom do I just give myself permission to uh, make shapes. But I think I'm going to do that right now. I'd like to tip a little. I suppose I could probably pour some paint on there. It's already mixed together. I kind of like the idea of just playing see there's one of those bubbles I'm always telling you exists and that's why we torch because there's bubbles in the paint. So what else? I have beautiful colors from Arteza. I'm not sure what kind of patterns I want to make. I don't even mind those dots. This is a beautiful purple. I'm loving it. I have some very bright neon pink. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I keep promising that I'm going to find my tubing and then I don't. Which is too bad. Well, maybe it's too bad. We'll see. But I want to add some chain. Let's see what happens when I take most of that chain and put it in my pocket, in my hand, in my pocket, right? I don't usually do this on black, so I want to know how that works. kind of like the marks I had, but I need to experiment and play. And I love playing with chain. I'm going to let the paint come up. I was going to say I was going to let the paint come off of that, but I think I'm just going to use it elsewhere.
It's just a freeform abstract. Just for the fun. Because I always just wanted to have a black background and see what happens. I don't know what else I want to do there. I really kind of like it the way it is, but I have that red. I'm going to take some of the paint off my chain with a damp rag, just out of view, and make a decision as to what I want to do. I think I want more of this beautiful magenta. I don't know that I need to do that much to it. I, I kind of don't mind mixing the chain with the... Uh, with the straight squeeze bottle. It's kind of neat to drag it through just the straight line and see how that works too. Sometimes it turns perfectly and sometimes not as much. I kind of liked it how it was. You gotta stop and release the chain so that the the pressure from the winding, sort of like a spring. I like that. It's pretty simple. I kinda want some more gold over there. Do I dare with my left hand? I guess I do. I still have some paint in my chain which is the catalyst, in my opinion, for uh, making cells when the two paints don't really mix together perfectly. They create cells. I really want some white in there, but I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that once it's in there. Maybe, just maybe, I should grab a little cup, put some white pearl in there, pull out my bamboo skewer and see what happens. It's highly unusual that I would be using canvas boards, but uh, I'm sort of enjoying playing with the process. And I want to see what happens and what can be done. And, you know, there's, there's people making art in every way you can imagine. I mean, I like watching these, these these pieces of art that you light on fire and then they reveal another piece of art underneath them. They're pretty awesome. Um, so there really aren't any limitations except for the ones we place on, on ourselves. So it's, it's just fun to play. And why not? Why not to dot? <laughs> Why not? Because we can. The name of my book on my Amazon link. By the way, if you need to have a reference material guide for tools and processes and you want to see what I did the first hundred videos I recorded on YouTube, um, the book is on my Amazon link below the video. It's called Because I Can. It has great reviews. People seem to be having a good time. It links you to every video and more. It shows you uh, not just products and processes, but uh, all kinds of things that I've done with the art that I made uh, and, and links you to places where you can actually see merchandise if you want to. Because if you're an aspiring artist, you're probably going to want to do something with your art other than just attempt to sell it. Because the internet is a really big place and the options are endless. I'm having a good time with dots. I kind of think I might want some gold dots, though. I don't know about that. I, I do know about that, though. That was awesome. I like spirals. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I am not overly familiar with canvas boards, so this is a process for me, too, right now. I don't know what else I want to do here. I don't see that much that requires improvement other than maybe a little gold. I'm going to try and put that someplace it doesn't get completely changed by... I think it's time to put the chain down into the bucket. I know this little loop up here is not not showing as much as I'd like it to. 
Same with these other loops. And I don't know if that's a going concern here. I kind of don't mind it. The anomalous strange marks. What can be done with canvas board? Well, at the moment, this is what I can do with canvas board. And um, having a good time, actually. New things always freak me out a little bit. But I love a challenge. Ooh, that was a nice mark. Where can I put some more of those? I may regret that. <laughs> I've got paint and I will use it. It's like the end of my bamboo skewer is kind of split though. Alright, that's kind of fun. For some reason my perverse nature makes me want to throw some orange in there. It's time to wipe off the skewer if I'm going to do that. have a puppy that is not happy, I can hear. No idea why. Often it's the one that wants to play rock and he can't get somebody to play with him whenever he wants. A bit of a spoiled brat. I did actually remember to set my timer this time. This is very dotty. <laughs> very, very. And why not? We can we all deserve to have some fun. Oh, I can actually do some scraping. Although I really want some more gold. <laughs> Go figure. So sometimes, I just put my gold right on. My skewer. That didn't turn out to be as uniform as I was hoping it was going to be. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'd like some more gold right there, though. I think that's exactly what I want. feeling as confident about that. So it's mostly just all in fun, as it is always mostly always in fun, just in fun. And I can't seem to stop myself because I'm having a good time playing. I kind of want some more white. Not sure how that's going to work out for me though. Because that purple's not really showing as intensely as I was expecting it to.
I prefer this didn't have to become a lesson for me, too. I'm going to pick up my chain again. I'm going to call it good. And we got about a minute left anyway. It's a party. <laughs> Definitely a party. And I'm almost going to call it good. That's it. That's the timer that says I've got two minutes left to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you. And that's it. First, I love you. And second, thanks for 50,000 of you. And third, shop my Amazon link for the OXO omelet turning spatulas and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and the gold mica powder, all of which are underneath show more underneath the video. And what else? There's Teespring under there. That was kind of fun. There's Teespring, and there's uh, Pinterest, and Instagram, and Facebook albums full of wet and dry artworks from YouTube at the very bottom of the description, underneath my paint pouring recipe, which is shared, noisy bird, which is shared in the body of the video's description under when you click show more. Yes, I picked up a random tool. It's a clay tool. It's not meant to be used with paint, but it's in my hand, so I'm using it. And uh, in the last 20 seconds of this video, you all will be able to see a list of my playlist of the other 400 bit plus videos in case you're interested. Yeah, maybe I just muffed it up. Maybe I didn't. It's very paisley. I gotta stop playing now. <laughs> Definitely time to stop, she said, as she added paint yet again to her skewer. And added a whole new spiral. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all the great comments. Thanks for the contributions. If you want to be in the contest, con contribute to PayPal or Patreon, and I will send you what's in this month's contest for the winner to choose from. Can't help it. Obsessive compulsive. All right, you guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. I'm going to zoom in for a second. Focus. This is Priscilla Batzel saying, see ya. Bye for now. Priscilla out.